welcome back to my channel it is your favorite girl a marie and if you are not subscribed i would like for you to subscribe right now and click the notification bell you guys i've been promising y'all this lala fox update review i purchased lala fox from walmart a few years back if i could find the original video i will have it linked in the cards and down below I used Lala Fox a couple of times here on my channel and you guys, I wanted to give a product update because I really truly feel like, because I really feel like this brand, this line is a hidden gem that just disappeared on us and I haven't been able to find it nowhere, but they do have a Instagram. So they're Lala Fox USA and you guys, they have mini products so this is their site this is their Instagram and they're not a big brand they have 1300 followers but you guys this is a K Beauty cosmetics and skincare brand cruelty free available at walmart.com so there we go they are only available at walmart.com now they're no longer in Walmart stores so you can you can look these products up at walmart.com which i will be on after this video because you guys when i tell y'all it is some good korean brand skincare and makeup items that i just can't get enough of you guys y'all have to go check them out and they also have a website that is lalafoxusa.com there are some products that i haven't tried because they weren't in walmart at the time but i did go ahead and pick up the products that i did see so you guys i wanted to just give y'all update let y'all know what i found what worked what didn't work for me and you know lead you guys to going to check out their line because it really is a good line it, it is a hidden gem that nobody talked about and when i say nobody talked about it i literally when i first seen it in walmart i instantly jumped on youtube and you know searched la la fox and there was like three videos before mine so i want you guys to see the stuff that I have, if you guys remember this product and this brand a long time ago when I first hauled it, give this video a thumbs up and let's just jump right into it. Okay, you guys, I'm going to start off with the makeup products first because I didn't grab too many makeup products to begin with. It wasn't much left when I seen the product, so I only got a few makeup products and then we'll move into the skincare because that's what it had a lot of when I first picked this stuff up. Okay, so the first product, y'all, my dog. <laughs> okay, so the first product is gonna be this Lala Fox. Y'all don't look at it. It's been chewed on by my dog. But this one is the Colorful Coat Tint in Eker Lake Pink. Hopefully you guys. <laughs> Hopefully I'm saying that right. And this is exactly what it says it is. It's a color tint. But I love how Lala Fox always, I love how Lala Fox put their logo on it. And for some reason, I'm so attracted to the Fox little symbol right here. Oh, I love it. So this one didn't work too well for me. This was the only shade that they had at the time. It has a good peppermint floral scent. I love the doe foot applicator. It comes in a curve, which I like. But you guys, this lip stain is just exactly what it is. It's a lip tint. And I didn't use it so much because it's a bright pink. I thought it would be more muted due to the packaging. The packaging did not match the lip color but it is something good to have if you guys don't like to wear hardcore liquid lipsticks or you know go overboard with the lipsticks so i would say it's good for lighter skin tones 
and not my skin tone, just in my opinion and my preference. The other lipstick I got, I did get that one color tint and then I got a actual lipstick. And the only lipstick that they had left is this one. And these are the Color Fix lipsticks. And this one is in for Dennett. She looks like that. She's more of a reddish color. And the only thing that I didn't like about this one is that it was more of a sheer lipstick than a opaque pigment pigmented lipstick. Like it can't it swatches good and they're creamy. It swatches good, but it is really sheer once you get it on the lips. And I didn't too much like that. If I'm gonna wear a red lipstick, I want a popping, banging, standout red lipstick. But once again, this is good for someone who is not like really hardcore into going bright and bold like me. But they are creamy, they're not matte at all. It's a glossy lipstick. So if you like the high shine type of lipstick, I think this would be for you. So I did get the only mascara that they had on the stand and this is the touch up mascara uh, hashtag separate lash you guys this was not good to me it was a little bit watery and it kind of messed up every time I tried to use it but I haven't used it since the wand is pretty cool for my liking I mean I don't like dramatic wands or anything like that so the wand of it is pretty fine let me just test it out and see because I know it's been sitting here for a minute and I think the longer it sits the more thickness it'll get well it really didn't even make a difference considering I already had mascara on <laughs> but I think I would try to try this again because at the time that I bought it, it was just a little too watery for me and it actually got on my makeup and my face So I didn't like it at first, but now that it has sat for some time It's still good So maybe I'll try it again and see how I like it and I will give you guys an update or keep you guys updated on my Instagram So make sure you follow me on my Instagram at a Marie beauty and you should see this on my stories or my timeline where I could update you guys. Okay, so next I got a drawing gel liner and this is in the shade bronze. You guys, this was the only one that I did find at the time. And once again, it didn't have many products left. So I think, you know, everybody that wanted to give this line and this brand a shot, they picked up like everything which I don't blame them because that's something that I would do. But this is just a bronze gel eyeliner. And I use this in my waterline. And she's really bronzy and pretty. And very creamy, if you guys could see. She's just a shade tanner than a shade darker from the champagne gold that I'm wearing right now. She's really dark and bronzy and I love to wear her in the waterline and I like the fact that you could twist up. You don't have to sharpen her. You could just twist it up. It's retractable and she'll give you just such a beautiful waterline color. This is another one that I would prefer that I would recommend you going by. I think if they had more shades online that I would pick up different shades just to see you know if they perform the same because this one here is really pretty and then the last thing I picked up was a liquid eyeliner of course this one is the drawing brush liner in deep black and I love how every single one of their colors and shades come they labeled it as hashtag deep black like everything this one is hashtag bronze the mascara is hashtag separate lash i like the fact that they did that so this gel liner is a felt tip liner and you guys this is one of my favorite liquid liners i remember i lost this at one point and i was really pissed off because this was like one of my favorite ones and now it's trying to dry out but 
here's the swatch right here. I kept it on my desk so that I could remember to show you guys and so that I won't lose it again, but I think I'm gonna have to throw it away now because she's really drying out. Ugh, she's drying out. But this really, really was a good black eyeliner. And you guys know, I normally just always use Wet n Wild Liquid Eyeliner, F Liquid Eyeliner, or NYX. And those are the only three that I ever been actually loving. But once I came across this, I literally put all three of those to the back burner and was using this bad boy up until I lost it. And then I had to go back to them. But this one was very black and it's matte and it just, it wasn't hard saying that it was a felt tip. It wasn't hard to wing out your liner or get that perfect crease liner, sharp edge, everything. It was a perfect pen to use for gel eyeliner. Okay, so that was all of the makeup products. Now I wanna move into the skincare. And you guys, the skincare was a couple, was the only thing that really had a lot left of. I guess people are not into skincare nowadays, but your girl is. So I'm gonna talk about these masks that they had. They had two different packs and then they had individual packs. Let me say this again. They had a pack of like eight or 10, eight and 10, and then they had the individual ones. Well, I picked up the eight and 10 thinking that they were different masks, but they're actually all literally the same in the packs. So the honey one is the nourishing mask. And you guys, these masks are bomb. They are bomb. I still got quite a few left because I try to use up every other mask before trying to use these up first because I feel like I couldn't find them no more in store. And you guys know I'm not like a big fan of shopping online. I'm impatient when it comes to shopping online. I like to go in the store, get what I want and get home type thing. So I didn't want to use them all up, but the honey one is the nourishing one. And it says the nourishing sheet mask with honey extracts provide elasticity, leaving the skin feeling velvety soft. And that is so freaking true. You guys, these are like a 15, a 10 to 20 minute mask. And I used to put these on every single day before doing my makeup. And I just love the way my makeup came out. I have gotten into the routine of doing a mask before I apply my makeup and my face always comes out flawless. So it's not just these masks that I'm showing you guys, but it is a highly, highly addictive thing. Like to me, I have to put on a mask before I do my makeup. And I just love the way it turns out. And with these, they are so freaking good that I just, I be trying not to use them all up. But now that I know I could go and find them online, I'm gonna use these bad boys up and go ahead and buy some more. So the next one is the Milk Moisturizing Mask and it looks like this. She's, oh, these are so chic and sleek, like so. I love the clear, I love the white, I love the black. It's just real simple and cute. So the Milk Mask, the Milk Mask with Milk Protein Essence replenishes conditions and hydrates dry skin and I can't say anything bad about them. None of the masks that I have from this company, I have something bad to say. And most of the time, you don't really see the results in a lot of the masks. Once you use it, especially if you only use it once, you don't really see results from it. But these masks, you see your skin brightening, you see the hydration, you see the glowy, you see what it fixed. You see it right after you take off the mask and let it seep in, you see that. So the last one, and literally you guys, in the eight and 10 pack, two of each came in the eight pack and multiple ones. I think it was like the honey one that came the most in the 10 pack. 
So that's the only reason why I'm showing you three because they're all repetitive. Now this one is my favorite, the Pearl Brightening Sheet Mask. This is a brightening sheet mask with pearl extracts, revitalize the skin, leaving it luminous and gorgeous. You guys, like I say, you see the hydration, you see the glow, you see what it fixes. If you're looking dull, if you wake up looking dull and flat and you're not feeling yourself that morning, throw on this mask, the brightening mask, and you're going to just be lifted after 20 minutes. You're going to see the difference and you're going to be lifted in your spirit you're gonna feel good so those are the masks that i got if anything you guys if y'all don't try out anything else or if you don't look into anything else look into the mask well you know what i'm lying because all of the rest of the skincare products i highly recommend for you to look into at least just look into it and see what you think next bottle is extremely dirty and it's almost embarrassing, but this lets you know how good it is. This is the Intensive Pro Cleansing Cream. It's a face cleansing cream, rich and refreshing cleansing cream that removes toxins from your pores. And it's, of course, by the same brand. The only thing I do not like about this cleansing cream is... I have a weird, I don't even know how to say it. Like this stuff is really creamy. A little, a little dust cover your whole face. It cleans your whole face. It lathers up so good and so thick and rich. But when I go to wash off my face, I don't like when your skin feels rubbery. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it when I throw the water on my face to wash off this cleansing cream it like it I don't know how to explain it. it's like a rubbery feel and I can't stand that feel or that sound so I take a damp warm towel and I wipe the mat uh, the cream off because I just don't like it's a certain feeling to it you guys I don't know how to explain it but it's a certain feeling to it and because you're in your face you can hear it and it just it makes my skin crawl when i wash it off if i wash it off with my hands and not a towel it cringes me but the cream itself the cleansing cream itself is amazing this stuff is amazing i use this I think this is the only bottle I had picked up and you guys I still got a lot left and I bought this a while back but I did scale back from it because I did notice I was getting low on it and didn't want to use it all up so I did scale back on it but a little like a little bigger than a pea size like yeah a little bigger than a pea size would clean your face completely and have you feeling good it doesn't dry out your face by the time you're done or anything so it is a really good product to pick up let's go with the cleansing water you guys this is the intensive pro cleansing water face cleansing water by lala fox and it says all-in-one cleansing water that removes makeup and impurities while toning and brightening skin the unique formula leaves your skin smooth fresh and deeply cleansed and we're done with it you guys we're done with this i use this i used to use it every day to take off my makeup and i was trying to smell it again to remember the scent and it is a fresh scent i can't explain it but it's a fresh scent but i use this every single day to take off my makeup i use the cotton pad and poured this onto it and used the front and the back of the cotton pad and it literally got all my makeup off. This cleansing water, I haven't found no cleansing water that does this good when it comes down to taking off makeup, waterproof makeup and everything. I have many micellar waters from many companies and I still have full bottles of it because it doesn't get it the way I like to get it and the way I would prefer it to come off but this one here 
I literally soak the pad, use front and back, and my makeup is gone. I also wash my face, cleanse my face, and then go back in with another clean cotton pad, pour this on it again, and clean up my face again for the toning and brightening portion of the cleansing water, and then I'm set to go to bed. So let's move on to my, you see how much I got left? This is the Intensive Pro Cleansing Oil, and it's, it's cleansing oil for your daily cleansing and moisturize ritual. You can moisturize with this. You know how Milani has the rose oil and chamomile oil. Everybody has an oil that you can use, and you can use this to moisturize, or you can use this to help cleanse your face. And this one, I left all this on for you guys so that I could show you. You see, I only put a little bit. If I had any more micellar water, I would have showed you guys with that too. But you see how greasy my hand looks? Now do you see how shiny it is? I know it doesn't get everything off because it is a cleansing oil, but it soaks into your skin and gives you that natural glow from within that makes you look and feel beautiful and healthy. Oh my goodness. And I did do one squirt. It always shoots everywhere. That's the only con to that product the pump is not that great when it comes down to putting it on your face the pump is not that great it will squirt everywhere like it just did but i can say it is well worth the crazy squirt it is so for the very last product you guys i haven't even opened this yet as you can tell, I still have the plastic on it. The only reason why I haven't opened it yet is because for one, I haven't finished this one. It is another cleansing gel. But at the same time, this is the very last product that I would have of Lala Fox in my whole collection because I kind of finished up almost everything else. So this one, I really can't even tell you about because it is in the plastic but it is the intensive pro cleansing gel it's a hyaluronic gel with mineral water that cleanses skin with minimal irritation so it says pump once create a lather with water and gently massage onto face rinse off thoroughly with lukewarm water so i am gonna open this and i am gonna test it out like i said if you guys follow me on instagram i will keep you guys updated on these products especially um which one did i say oh the mascara i will keep you updated on these two products the mascara and the cleansing gel on instagram so you guys like i said follow me but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i think that la la fox is a brand that should be looked into and given a try even if you just get a few things i think it is worth the try I didn't hype it up. I wish I would have hyped it up. I wish if I would have hyped it up, other people would have given it a try because I hyped it up. But who are me? I'm nobody. I I don't hype up anything or I don't get as much, as much attraction to my channel for anything to be hyped up. But you guys, even though I'm a small channel, even though I'm a small channel, you guys, I still do my reviews and my opinions 100% to what I know. Not hyping things up or not talking about things just because it needs to be talked about or just because I ain't seen nobody talk about it. I try these products. I buy these products. I don't get PR. So everything, even if I did get PR... Everything will still 100% be my opinion. And I honestly feel like you guys should check out Lala Fox on Instagram. At least just go check out their Instagram and see what they're about. And maybe you'll fall into it. 
but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you ever tried la la fox or let me know if you're thinking about trying it that is it you guys that is everything that i wanted to show you giving you this product update In the words of my loyal subscriber keep shining and until next time i will see y'all in the next one